we all know that in the entire world a human to survive the most important aspect is air we need to breathe if you don't take air if you don't get breath you cannot survive after air the most important element on the earth what we need is water so that is the main concept of our lesson today that is water resources this is given as the third part of our geographical text now in order to understand about the water resources let us try to throw light on what are the important aspects of water we all know that 3/4 of the earth is filled with water 3/4 of the earth it's filled with water among all the planets in the solar system we have nearly nine planets and among these nine planets the most favorable planet for the human beings to survive and the availability of water where we have more availability of water is the planet earth on the earth we have nearly 71% of the entire earth filled with water though we all know that 71% of the earth or three parts of the earth of the out of the four parts are filled with water bodies only but still we we'll listen to the news like we have square city of water we have non availability of water in some parts we have people walking miles and miles to get water in order to fulfill their daily needs so what is the situation or why though earth is filled with 3/4 amounts of parts with water today also we have scarcity of water why we are getting the news that people are not available or accessible to drinking water what is the fact that is lying behind us which is not allowing us to understand the actual scenario of availability of water and meeting the requirements of the people there is a big gap between the availability of water for us and between the reachable and usage of the water by the people 3/4 of the earth is filled with water we all know that coming to the availability of the people the water or water available to the people is not so much freely in all parts of the world but earth is also known as blue planet or watery planet because earth is having huge resources of water then what makes to say the people or the people environmentalists archaeologists or the scientist to say that in very soon by 2025 many parts in the world will be getting added into the list of the places where we have scarcity of water so what is a hidden bar which is not allowing us to see the actual picture of availability of water to the people and the availability of water resources on the earth in this unit we shall throw light on all the possible factors of exploding of water at the same time what are the difficulties that people are facing what are the situations that made people to find out or to come into this kind of situation first let us find out what is the actual statistics of water availability on the earth we all know that 96.5% of available water is present in the form of oceans suppose the available 3/4 parts of the entire water body is been characterized into 100% equally then in that 96.5% means the lion share of the available water on the earth planet is stored in the form of oceans we all know that in the planet of earth we have many oceans the five major oceans which we all know are pacific ocean atlantic ocean arctic ocean then what do we have indian ocean we also have the southern ocean so all together we have five important oceans 
which are altogether known as oceanic water bodies which are contributing nearly for 96.5% of the available water on the entire earth then the rest of the part of 96.5 the rest 4 point is there that part is 2.5% of the water is the fresh water The 2.5% of the water which is available for us is fresh water. Now, sir, we have a huge amount of water resources in that 96% is coming under the oceans. The rest 2.5% is coming under fresh water available to all people on the earth. Here we have a small twist. Out of this 2.5% of the fresh water which is available for us, this available 2.5% water Again, among this 2.5%, 70% is in the form of ice. 70% is in the form of ice, like glaciers. These large glaciers are a part and parcel of the Arctic region and as well as the Antarctic region. Now, among the available 22.5% of the fresh water, this fresh water is stored in the form of glaciers at the places like on the north we have Arctic, on the south we have Antarctic. So in these two places corners we have the glaciers being present which are also part and parcel of the fresh water which is available for us which have a lion's share of the fresh water available in this world and the rest 30% what we have is uh, is contributing for the underground water levels so the rest 30% is available for underground water levels so the entire water what we have can be categorized into three major categories first one is the 96.5 percent is in the form of oceans 2.5 percent of the entire fresh water on the earth in that 70 percent is in the form of glaciers 30 percent is contributing for uh, the underground water layers or aquifers which are present under the layers of the earth now when we take about the findings how much was the availability of water for us in india we found that india receives 4% of the entire world precipitation india receives around 4% of the entire world precipitation what is precipitation Precipitation is a process through which the water bodies are being heated up by the sun rays. The incoming solar radiation will be falling on the water bodies which makes the water to evaporate from there and move on into the clouds and then coming on the clouds will be moving on apart in the process of movement when they are struck by the winds which are objected by the hilly regions of the mountain plains when the movement of the clouds becomes difficult for them they start to move above and go above from that when this process of moving above than the normal level the clouds will be moving into the cool place zone where the climate temperature decreases with that the amount of water vapor which is present in the clouds will be turning into water when the water is heated it turns into water vapor when the water vapor is exposed to cool climate then the water vapor will turn into water so the water vapor which is present in the clouds will turn into water which in results the difficulty for the clouds to hold it much longer which results in the process of rain this entire process is called precipitation or rain cycle this happens so in the entire world this has happening that is precipitation in that precipitation india receives 4% of the entire world's precipitation by ranking herself in the 133rd place in the world. So, India is in the 133rd place in receiving the world's precipitation. 
or the precipitation on the entire earth and shocking news for all of us is india is a land where himalayas are present for us where we have the perennial rivers where we also have the non perennial rivers entire india agriculture has been a dominant occupation but still by 2025 many of the climatologists weatherologists meteorologists all claim that many parts of india also would be added to the list of the places where the availability of water is very very less or it may be like a semi arid region this all are real facts we need to respond for this very fast so let us find out in detail what are the situations that led india to be said that by 2025 india will be in the list of the places where some of the places in india will be under the non available places of water If you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus